All right, everybody, Big AZ back at it. Man, I want to test out my don't pass for dummy strategy again. Um, I've had some decent profits with it. I mean, nothing huge. This is not huge money-making profit strategy. Uh, I just want to see if it's a moneymaker over time. I've had some good success, although the one time I did try it in Vegas, it did not work. So, although nothing worked in Las Vegas, I've got a 400 bankroll. So, our 400 bankroll, what I'm going to do, we're going to do the 3 to 1 ratio. I'm going to use three chips. For this strategy, I'm going to use green. Here we go. No protection on the come up, my friends. Here we go. Snake eyes. Beautiful. That's a beautiful thing to see. Is that a good spot? Let's see if we bring it in right there. Right at the 12. Show the dice. All right. We're going to play. Uh, you know, in, when I was in Las Vegas, I had that late Ted in my head. and I want a clearer picture this time, next time I go. This is just something, like I said, I've been toying with, and, and we're here to test. Let's do it. Come out roll, my friends. Five. The point's going to be five. Now, real simple again. This is the don't pass for dummy strategy. I don't have a DC. Some of you commented, where's my DC? You're putting on the don't pass. I know. I don't have a DC, so I'm just going to put right there. That's our DC wager. Again, one chip on the DC for every three you put on the don't pass. That's the strategy, and you do that every single roll. It's the don't pass for dummy strategy. AC, do C. Nice. Nice AC, do C. I like it. I like it. Here we go. Box cars. That's a push. That's a push. Eight. We're going to move the DC to the eight. Our one chip goes back up on the DC. Points five. Again, we do the same exact thing every single time. There's no thinking involved. Same thing every single time. AC, do C. Gotta love that easy doozy. Nice. So we've gotten paid on snake eyes and AC deuces. Wow. <laughs> wow. Please don't bank on hitting snake eyes and AC deuces to make your money. Please don't bank on that. But we'll take it. Of course, we'll take that. Man, oh man. Nine. 54. So we're going to move the DC wager to the 9. Our DC goes back up for a quarter. Here we go, my friends. Again, we're testing the don't pass for dummy strategy. Box cars. It's a push. Here we go. 7 out, line away. Nice. That was pretty good timing for that. This is a loser. But we will get paid on the 8. We will get paid on the 9. Why am I paying it out of my money, you fool? Man, I'm so encouraged by this strategy. And here we go. Come on, roll. No protection. 8. Points 8. We started with 400. That's the bankroll. So our three chips, one for every three chips. On the DC, the don't come. Just tell the dealer, you don't even need the dealer for that wager. Uh, you do that yourself. You put it on the DC. If you're not near the DC, you tell the dealer, I want 25 on the DC. Four. So that's going to get moved to the four. 25 back up on the DC. Here we go. Yo, one number we don't like to see. That's a loser. DC back up. Okay, here we go. 
10. The easy way. For all you DC players and don't pass players, you, the dark side, you love it on these fours and tens. I mean, this is a, a great board to have right here. Here we go. Four. I jinxed us. That's all right. That's why I make these videos. Four is going to get moved back over the four. DC back up. Here we go. Four again. God dang it. Wow. Folks, I play this just like I'm at the casino. I, this, I pretend like this is real money, man. I, I don't want to lose. Hell no. We don't want to lose. Nobody wants to lose. Eight. That's a frontline winner. Ouch. It's all right. We're, we're doing this to see if we can be profitable. So that's going to move to the eight. Now, this is a loser. So we're going to put 75 back up on the dome. Now, one positive with this strategy is that you've got 75 out here uh, uh, rooting for the seven on the come out. It doesn't matter. These are working. And you've got 75 here on the come out roll where you don't want a 7. So if the 7 happens to roll for you, you do have some protection. I mean, we don't want to see that happen because we've got a good looking board here. But if it does happen, oh well. Here we go. Doesn't hurt you as bad as it would otherwise. I'm going to call that a 4 deuce 6. That's a 4 deuce 6. At a point of 6. Our 25 goes back up on the DC, one for every three chips. This is the don't pass for dummy strategy. Seven out, line away. 43, that's a loser. We're gonna pay our, our bets, even money. You love those even money wagers, because normally you would not get even money on laying any of those numbers. And I get even money here. Well, I had some comments. Why, why are you playing the don't pass? That's a terrible bet. Well, if you get past the come out, it's the greatest bet in the whole casino. You're getting even money on every number that you would not get on the lay bet. You get fractions. You're getting even money. That's awesome. Okay, we're on the come out roll. Again, we're testing this strategy. I want to see how profitable I can be over time with this. So far, we, oh man, another AC Deucey winner. Beautiful on the come out. Man, oh man, oh man, oh man. I just want to see over time how we can do it. I mean, if I get killed every single time, well, then I can scrap this. So the point is four, 31. We're going to do the same strategy. One for every three on the DC, the don't come. Here we go. 6, 51. So we're going to move that DC wager over to the 6. DC back up. Here we go, my friends. Let me know how you like this camera angle. AC Deucey again. Beautiful. Wow. Folks, do not plan on, on winning Snake Eyes and AC Deuceys over and over and over and over. That's crazy. We'll take it, but that's craziness. Here we go. Six. That's going to be a loser. So we're going to move that DC over to the six. And, oh, sorry. I need to be bringing the dice over. I get too excited. Here we go, my friends. Oh, no. 31. Easy four. That's got to be at least the fourth easy four I've rolled. Wow. That is not good. That's not good. Uh, folks, I would have had a DC there, so we're going to move that to the four. Oh, boy. Okay, here we go. Come out, roll. Again, we're, we're testing the strategies. That's what I love to do is to test these strategies. Nine. The point's going to be a nine. 25 back up on the DC. Here we go, my friends. Six again, 51. Ooh, ouch. So that's a loser. We're going to move this over to the six. 
DC backup for a quarter. Here we go, my friends. Let's do it. Yo, that's two, yo, losers. Hey, I can understand. That's okay because we've had multiple AC Ducey winners and Snake Eyes. 8.53. So, move that DC over to the 8. Now the board's looking pretty good. Here we go. Now it's time for Big Red to show her head. This is it. Hey! Wow. Only if it was that easy. Right on cue. 43. Beautiful. That's a loser. But I'm going to use that to pay my winnings. Even money winner, even money winner, even money winner, even money winner. Stacking units. That's what we're doing. This is the don't pass for dummy strategy again. Three to one ratio. Here we go. Come out, roll, no protection. Let's do this. Snake eyes again. Oh my gosh. I, I, I can't believe it. Has my bad mojo disappeared? Although this is pretend money, right? Psh. I mean, I'm not playing like it's pretend money. Jeez, come on, let's go. Oh, oh, dice are out. Dice are out. Uh, let's get new dice. Let's get two new dice. Dice are out. Here we go. Ten. The easy ten. Points 10. Again, same thing. One chip for every three. Now, if you want to go down to the red, you do 15 on the don't pass bar, and you do five every time on the don't come. Very simple strategy. You can do it on the regular table, if you find a $5 table. Or you can do this on the bubble craps. All day long, you can sit there and play. Eight the hard way. switch cameras so let me know if you do like this camera better here we go AC Ducey holy crap I'm gonna have to go back and watch how many AC Ducey's and, and snake eye winners we've had a lot of times you get those but because you're and you don't win any money because you don't have it bet but when you're on the DC, you do get it. You, you, you get those. I can get some more chips. That's a good sign. Bring another little bit of green over here so I can use that as my bank. All right. All right, here we go, my friends. Let's do it. Yo! They giveth and taketh away. Son of a bitch. Okay, quarterback up. The one number you really lose on is yo 11. Uh, box cars is a push. Two and three, you're an automatic winner. And of course, a seven is a loser. Just like the pass line. Here we go. Six the hard way. I'm going to move that over to the six. 25 back up on the DC. Really simple, folks. Same bet every single time. No matter what the number, no matter what the point. You're always putting 25 up on the DC, or one for every three chips. We're going to move this to the nine. Our DC goes back up. Now, you know, we all know that dice have to be cooperative for any strategy to work. I mean, please don't be so naive to think that this is a great winning strategy. I don't know if it's a strategy you can win over more times than you lose. That would be great. But let's test it some more. That's what I'm doing here. So uh, I am filming this. This is uh, New Year's Eve. I, I've posted all my Vegas videos, and I've posted a couple videos now since I've been home. Um, still have like one or two more to post before I post this one. Then I'm going to be really close to going live. I just checked. I'm up to 980 subscribers. So we can go live. We'll go live and do some testing. I appreciate everybody out there supporting my channel. All right, here we go, my friends. Let's do it. Set. Oh, perfect timing. There she is. Big red. Wow. Good timing. That's a loser. That's okay. Now we're going to pay everybody. Even money. And our 
wire three here. Again, these strategies are to open your eyes to different ways to wager. You don't have to just come sit at the table or go to the table and put money on the good old pass line. That's what they want you to do. Please expand your thinking. If that's what you want to do, great. You go for it. I'm not telling you not to. I'm just trying to open your eyes to all the different types of wagers you could possibly do. Don't ever restrict yourself. Let's do this. Let's see if we can be profitable. Let's, let's go. Come on, roll. Seven. That's a loser. Big red. 75 back up. Mm. Again, if the dice don't cooperate, you keep getting sevens on the come out roll, you're never going to make any money. I get it. Boxcars, that's a push. My friends, that's a push. That's a push. It's all right. Live to see another day. Snake eyes. Oh, my goodness. This is incredible. Oh, my goodness. Again, it's one of those where somebody's telling you, oh, man, I rolled so many snake eyes and easy deuces when it counted. Yeah, right. Well, I got it on tape. So, oh, my goodness. Nuts. Point is six, my friends. So we're going to put one chip for every three chips on the don't come bar. It's called the don't come. I don't have it on my board, but it's the don't come. Here we go. Boxcars, we got to push. we we'll just leave it right there. Nines. We're going to move that DC wager over to the nine. 25 goes back up on the DC. No way! That's freaking crazy. Snake eyes. Holy shit. I swear I've got more snake eyes than sevens. I mean, that's just... Folks, that any craft player will tell you that's not going to happen. Over time. Frontline winner. We've got ourselves a winner. 5-1. That's not good for us. What's going to happen is the DC gets moved over to the 6 and we lose these 75 chip, $75. All right. Three chips go back up. On the come out. Here we go. Yo, that's not good. That's one rule you definitely don't want to see. And as you're playing, I guess, you know, there's different ways you can hedge on the 11. I get it. Uh, we can hop it all day long on the come out. You can even put a little on the field if you want. Give you a little 12 and 11 action that you wouldn't get here. But you could hop the 7s and the 11 on the come out. But this is just a basic strategy for everyone to use. So there's no thinking involved. We're just doing the same thing over and over and over. Three deuce, that's a five. So the point's going to be five. Again, one chip for every three on the don't come bar. Here we go. Let's do it. Seven out, line away. Okay, this is a loser, but I'll use it to pay the six. Even money, even money. Stacking units. I think we're doing pretty good. I mean, we started with what, 400? Oh, yeah, we're up maybe about 200. Holy shit. It would be awesome if this strategy works. It just seems to have been working every test I've done, except when I used it for real in Las Vegas. Yeah. Probably have to go more low, low denominations and do more live cash testing. 15 and 5, probably is what I need to do. Uh, let's go one more point. Sure, let's do it. Come out, roll. Let's do it. My friends, let's do it. Appreciate everybody watching. Ah, dice out. Dice are out. Let's get another dice. Uh, let's get this one. All right, come out, roll. Here we go. Eight. The point's going to be eight. Again, one chip for every three. 
Folks, you do the same exact thing every time you put one chip on the DC area. For every three you have on the don't pass. Again, this is called the don't pass for dummy strategy. Oh, seven out. Okay. So this is a loser, but we'll use that to pay one of those. We'll make a profit of 50. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, we'll do one more. That was a quick one. Do one more. Again, we're, we're testing this. Of course, if the dice don't cooperate, we can get our ass handed to this. I get it. But I want to keep testing this strategy. This is what, you know, I, I get my mind set on a certain strategy, and then I just pound it to death for a week or two or three, and, and either I've got good feelings or I don't. Nine. The point's going to be nine, folks. Again, one chip for every three on the don't pass. Here we go. Let's do it. Five. Five's our number. So we're going to move the DC to the five. One more chip on the don't come bar. Here we go. Four. So we're going to move that over to the four. And 25 on the don't come. This will be our last point. Here we go. Eight. Easy way. We're going to move that over to the eight. And 25 back up on the DC. Six. Wow, now we got all the numbers covered almost. You know, the ideal situation, you know, for this strategy is, is to roll, you know, four, five, six times and then the seven to come out. That's the ultimate goal. You don't want to go 13, 15, 16 rolls because you're going to constantly keep losing all your DC wagers on the numbers once it's been moved, you know. This is a good time to see Big Red. Yo, that's not a good number. Yo, that's a loser. 25 back up. Here we go. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> 52. That's a 7. Big red. Wow. If it was only this easy, man, I've been calling all these. Man, that's a loser. I'll use that to pay. Now we're getting even money. Great wager. Even money on laying those numbers. Even money. We're going to stack these up. Put them in our bank. In our rail. And let's see how we did. We started with 400 bankroll. Doing the exact same wager every single time. Wow, we had a good session, folks. I'm starting to like this strategy. I'm starting to like it. Wow, that's what we started with. Holy shit. We started with 400. Wow. I can't believe this. Holy shit. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's a thousand. Thousand seventy five. Wow. So we just. Two and a half times their money. Holy crap. More than two and a half times their money. Here's our 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000, 75. Again, this is called the Don't Pass for Dummy Strategy. Leave me a comment. Give me a thumbs up. Email me. Appreciate everybody watching this video. Hey, I'm going to come right back and test this again probably tomorrow. Probably tomorrow morning I'm going to test it. I have to. we got to see if this is profitable or not. Anybody else wants to do some uh, simulations out there, let me know how you did. Or if you want to test it out in the bubble craps or at the tables, let me know. It's real simple. Three to one ratio. Appreciate it, everybody. Have a great day.